The people that you associate yourself with are the ones that are going to determine your, your future. Mm. I've realized that, you know what, if you really have to follow this negative path, mm. you, you will never uh, achieve anything. <laughs> Positive people will always lead you to good thinking, good way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Negative people, obviously, you'll find yourself. You know, there was this man who said, if you're really going to be with those guys that are negative, mm -hmm. it's either I'm going to bury you mm -hmm. or visit you in prison. Mm -hmm. I was like, eh? Mm -hmm. He says, yes, these are the only two things. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, OK. So I had no choice. But our current players, there are those that I need to give them credit because we can't be always be poor, negative, negative. They are those who are very, very passionate and there's a bright future for them. Yeah. But most, I don't think there's that passionate in terms of the career and the vision. Mm -hmm. Like I was given a mandate by the chairman. Yes, you know, dedicate say, yourself yeah, for dedicate 10 years. 10 years mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm not too sure if they, they, they do dedicate seven years in their careers. You are Dr. Kumalo. Look, at the end of the day, why did I go for my courses if I, uh, I will say no? Yeah, yeah I can. I yeah. can coach the national team. Sure. Yeah, but then uh, I for now, no, Mishap. <laughs> Push up. Yeah. But I mean, you, soccer is your first love. It is. So if it you is. ever had to go back into the game, yeah. in what capacity? Uh, as a technical director. As a te what is the difference between a technical director and a coach? The coach reports to the technical director. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, tell me. You the, remember the, the technical director, uh -huh. he, he instills culture. Uh huh. He, he implements programs. Mm -hmm. The structure of the club. Okay. So oh. they need, to, yeah. He's the one that throws up all those things, and it needs to be followed the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. So in Europe, that's a reason why everything's run smooth because mm. they do have technical directors. Yes. In Africa, we don't have such that much. Maybe one or two yeah. teams here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a technical director is is more of um, also helps in the terms of scouting. Yes. Okay. Talent. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Important what kind? Role. What is yes, what kind of players? do we need mm -hmm. and uh, what age group the age group mm. you know when do we implement certain ways of doing things all mm -hmm. those things so coaches report to the technical uh, director mm -hmm. submitting the reports mm -hmm. monthly mm -hmm. weekly mm -hmm. and uh, sharing the views of the philosophy of the coach and all those things. I would have never known that there was such a role if you did not tell me. Is it? Really, to be quite honest, you know. Before, it was not like this. Mm -hmm. This is modern. Mm -hmm. Calabash. Yeah. This was built before, I mean, for the 2010 World mm -hmm. Cup and yes, all that. Yes, but yes. Titinage, when we started playing here, yeah, mm -hmm. it was that old, old F&B. Mm -hmm. It was not shaped like this. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like three to four minutes walk Mm. from the pitch to the dressing room. Yo. So now the modern ones is just 30 seconds. Yeah. So then also the beauty about the whole thing is that then the supporters were closer. Yes, yes. So then my yes. first game, La, it was against Swallows. So my professional game, the first first one, it mm. was at Ellis Park Stadium against ah, Orlando Pirates. Okay. You know when you hear the song Shosholoza mm. and uh, like the guys in my kid are like singing. Thousands of people. And we're like, wow, oh yeah. no, is it me? Yeah. Because I mean, I used to watch, mm -hmm. envy them, yeah. idolize them. Yeah. Now it was my turn now to go out and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now when you walk out of the tunnel, mm. you can only see black and white yeah. first. Yeah. Because now, the chief supporters but behind. Oh, okay. okay. So now when you come out of the tunnel, uh -huh. you only see Orlando Paris supporters, and I'm like, hey. There's so many yo, of them. Yo. The opposition is I'm so like, many. wow. Yo, yeah. Yo. yeah. And then I walked in. Uh -huh. When I turned around, yeah. it was gold and black. Oh, beautiful. The only problem that I had in my first, first game in 1987 mm. at Ellis Park, mm. I didn't expect to be in the starting 11. Yo. They shocked me, surprised me. big deal. I mean, yes, man, Angela. So we got to the hotel. We got to the hotel. The coach then was Ted Dimitri, may so rest in peace. Yes. Now there's a poor boy coming from Soweto. I don't know what's a buffet. Yeah, we're not going to join him. Yeah, you know, Kota Nimnandi. 
Guys are buffing, so Tini's Ladla says, no, boy, we can eat everything here, yeah, Kola. <laughs> so we're playing pirates at 10. Mm. Eight o uh, seven o'clock, me and I'm buffing now, three hours. Yo. Everything that was there, I eat. Yeah. Must figure stadium. They announced the first starting level. Yeah. Mabati, number six, Dokuma, Tishanga Faint. Yay! Am I in the starting level? And yeah. can you imagine they sacrificed one of the yeah. best middle folders, Chipa yeah. Mulatedi? Yes, yes. And they were playing pirates. Yeah. I'm like, wow. This is such a moment. Pelokumbule, I mean, from the schools, Ekasi. Yeah. So yeah. there was that rivalry. If you walk to the stadium, you need to respect it. You must. Mm. And also, you must respect the badge. Mm. Legends or good or la la la. Yeah. Because some of the guys, yes, we, we might think Uguti, it just happened because it happened. Mm. No. Mm. We had to walk the path and work hard, mm. believe in ourselves, mm. and uh, respect people. If a youngster really wants to come and play here, yes. he's the only one who's got the key to open the gate and go in there and play. Mm. No one else can do it. Beautiful. Because we can say much, parents can advise, yes. or teachers, whatever, but at the end of the day, it's up to an individual. Okay. Yes, yes, Mina, I was always like mm. a private person. Yeah. Um, I Look, I'm not saying uh, I'm perfect, but... Yeah. I'm a private person, and what I gathered is that my dad allowed me to be a doctor. Mm. So now I have to do the same with my boy. Mm. To say, this is you, mm -hmm. but with proper guidance, but I don't want you to walk in my shadow, and then you become something that probably don't want to. Yes. But fortunately enough, my son, oh, he plays soccer. He does Diego. Yes, Diego. Mm. So he plays soccer, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> the only problem is a left footer. Man, Jang has to tap. Is he a left footer? <laughs> My goodness. So I don't know, you know, yeah. to tap. So I'm like, <laughs> well, is, is it, it more <laughs> difficult when you're left footed? Left footers. Is it? Is they, it more no, it's not difficult. It's a blessing in disguise to have a left footed player. I think probably something that I could have done differently was to persuade my career overseas and I should have probably accepted the green card in the US and really? I refused. Really? You refused the no, green I thought card? They were, I thought they were stealing me from South Africa. But here, you. Yo. I'm telling you. So. And you know that thing is so I, difficult to come by these days. I, I know. So I thought, no man, these guys probably they want me to play for the U.S. national team. And you want to represent That's South Africa? Yeah. You didn't realize that you would have still been still. representing South Africa, even if you wish. Yeah. Well, Yo, Doc! That's something that I've never spoken or told anybody. <laughs> really? Yes. That's something that I, I, I would have done differently, probably.